What is up guys, I'm back to another video and today we've got the final episode of season one of the Bayer Leverkusen Group. One trophy still in the balance, a Champions League sport still to fight for, it is all to play for in this final episode. First up, a look at what we have to play. Six or seven games still left in the season, two against Arsenal in Europa League. If we beat them, we're through to the final and then we've got four league games left. First of all, Obviously, you can guess how the Europa League looks. We've currently got, we're facing Arsenal, our opponents. If we make it through, we either Inter or Marseille. And then in the Bundesliga, the title race is over for us. It's not over in total, but we are too far adrift at this stage. But, you, excuse me, Champions League is still in the balance. We are level on points, in fact, sorry, level on points with Schalke, but we have a game in hand against Nuremberg, while the lower teams league. So I'd hope to get three points there. We are either going to be in this episode, there's going to be real scrap. Do we go Europa League? Do we go fine for the Champions League? Because, of course, we only played three games for episodes, so it's all decisions. We're simming the games against Arsenal, Frankfurt, and Nuremberg for certain. We're then going to be definitely playing Hertha, and then either playing Schalke or Arsenal, depending on how confident I feel, because I want to get that shot at the Europa League final then. Yeah, Europa League final, it's not the Champions League and we're jumping straight into it with a sim against Arsenal. We're at home, so this is the big game as such. This is where it all heats up. We're jumping right into the sim here, right in the deep end. They've got a nice team, Milinkovic, Savic there, and Torre will make a, a nice midfield. Not too many signs, or Bami Agatia, Sisto, and Mkhitaryan gives them the lead early on. That is not the start we wanted at all. Lichtenstein's got an injury, no good for us though. We need a goal, we don't want to be one down going into the second leg. We always have the second leg, so far we've always come in with an advantage. If we're not going in with an advantage, it's going to be tough. Come on, the late goal, the late goal, the late goal. That is a worrying result, but that does mean we're going to be playing the second leg of the semi-finals of the Champions League. First of all, though, we actually have a second game to sim. We're going to sim against Frankfurt. So, scrap everything I am saying. Let's get to that. I've just realised how big a game this is as well, actually. Frankfurt sit near us on points as well. So, all in the balance in this game. We're going to jump straight into it. Dive into the deep end. But 3, 2, 1, Wendell and Nogra at the beginning. It's a good 2-0 victory, but Jonathan Tarr with a red card and Wendell with a slight knock. Not good what we want to see at all, but this is a biggie. Arsenal in the semis, let's get to it. Ashford twists and turns. We can play Tin Yedvaj down. Covering at left back, not his main position, but can definitely cover there. Go on! It's a long header. Carrera's never going to beat Leno from that distance. I can see gaps on the right side. Kalazan has been Bamiyan there, passing strong. Bender on the I don't like this at all. Thank you, Hudadeki. Oh, he's turned. He's turned Carrera. He swings the ball there. No! Off the bar. Cut it back. We square it again. Little pass. Oh, what a heavy, stupid touch. What a heavy, and stupid touch. And here we go. Sisto with a chance here. Okay, come on, Hudadeki, you need to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yedvaj coming to the rescue there. They almost completely played us. Now we come forwards. Havertz. To Weigel, to Rashford. We're coming forwards. And we can have a go at Rashford. No. Yeah, let's go. 1-1 one, one, or 1-0 one, in this leg. Just before half-time. Rashford tried a short. Probably should have done better. But Bulland comes up clutch. There we go. As they say, you get into the area. It can fall for you. And it did there. 1-0. Bender. Just plays it out to Rashford. Let's just let's get a screamer for the end. Hammett. Correa even. Over the bar. No screamer on this occasion. End of the first half. Big game. 1-0 to us. We did come up close with the bottom goal. But... All in the balance. Arsenal score. Pressure's on us. We score. Pressure is really on Arsenal. To change, to try and propel us into proper direct. Let's go. What a stupid challenge. Sock like this, you blithering idiot. What an opportunity. Thank you. No card. But what an idiot. What an idiot. You know what? It's got to be Rashford, hasn't it? It has got to... I don't like left-footers. This makes me nervous. Top left, straight in the top bins. Boom, baby! 2-0 on the night. Arsenal are in some trouble here. Arsenal are coming forwards now. They need to score twice. I feel like shutting up shops what we want to do. But I don't think it's what's going to happen. Blocking to the key there. Bender diving in and stopping Ozil. 
Unai Emile's men. Maybe, but they're coming forwards. Hiladeki saves. And Lupia's offside anyway. Chasing Kalazanac here. Kalazanac is tired. Lacazette tried to karate chop Hiladeki's head off. Laka sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Oh, he's turned to our, our best man. Okay. The game's back on. Laka sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Sets up Torreira. And no, sorry, it's Milinkovic Savic. The signing for Arsenal. Who won? If they score now, it's all over for us. We're chasing. We're chasing the ball here. If they score, it's all... Oh, okay, here we go. This is it for Arsenal almost. This is almost it. Jonathan Tott. Oh, what a poor... Messer Ozil's messed up there. Rashford, we can push up the pitch now. We can just chip it up long. And Vullen chases in. I think Vich Savage is going to get back to it. But 90 minutes. Bullied off the ball there by Correa. Who gives it straight back to them. It's going to get up the pitch for Arsenal. It's going to get up the pitch. Something's got to give. Either the bristle's going to give. Or we're going to concede a goal now. We are through to the final of the Europa League. What a performance from the boys. A bit lucky with the penalty. Almost messed it up conceding late on. But we are into the final. It was scrappy. An open goal deflection and a pen. But they all count. We are through. Okay, and our opponents in the Europa League final. We're going to be playing into. But next up, we've got a game. And this is going to be an interesting one. We are facing Schalke in the sim. We've got no Char and no Wendler. I think everyone else is in the side. Everyone else is all good. But a win here for Schalke and they jump ahead of us. A win for us and we've probably got the spot. So a huge, huge game here. Dragovic into the side. Yedvaj into the side. Come on. Carrera in the third minute of the match. That's what we like to see. A draw will probably do for us. We've got a game in hand. A defeat will really mess up our chances and make it very... It'll go down to goal difference if it's a defeat, basically. So, that won the lead. They now need to score two, really, unless we mess up in our future games. A win here will probably put us into... I think we'll put us into Champions League next year, quite possibly, but the deal's not sealed yet. Ten minutes to go, though. That is a huge win. We beat Frankfurt in the sim. We beat Schalke in the sim this episode. That is huge. There you can see 61 points we're sitting on with a game in hand against Nuremberg. Let's get into that one. Okay, we have managed to win our final game in hand against Nuremberg and confirming our Champions League qualification. The league pretty much so not before we get into this final game. You can see Bayern already won the league just about ahead of Dortmund. We can still actually finish second if results go our way. Schalke just missing out. Frankfurt get the other Europa League spot, meaning no Europe for Leipzig, no Europe for Wolfsburg, and no Munich. Europe for Gladbach or Hoffenheim, teams you'd expect to see up there. But down the bottom is where it's still tense. Freiburg and Hanover, both relegated in the confirmed spots. But to find the relegation playoff, we could see Dusseldorf or Mainz ending up in that spot. Everyone else is sorted in their positions, really. Like, so not a lot facing on this game. We've got Champions League. Just play the season through. Let's get into the match. Okay, so the face cam footage through this game actually corrupted, but thankfully it was this one because it was genuinely the worst and most boring game I've seen all season. Here you can see a penalty being given away. The Hiladeki dives and stops it. Honestly, thank God it was this one. This is one of the few chances. Leon Bailey coming inside, passes the volume, he takes a shot, just hits the post, tries to follow up, and it's cleared over the bar. And then a chance for Hertha. These are the best we've got in the whole match. A clear header, and they missed that, and that really sums up the whole game. Other than that, take a look at the league table. Okay, before we get into the final, a final look at the Bundesliga table and how the season's come across as a whole. Third in the league in the end, a very respectable position. 19 wins from 34. Absolutely brilliant result. From the last only seven defeats, considering half of them came in the first episode, I will 100% take that. Only eight points off Bayern, so definitely pushing in there for next year. Champions League got their six points clear in the end. It actually beat Stuttgart in the league, meaning we won't have to go through the qualifiers to get there, which is brilliant. Schalke and Frankfurt went through them last time. In relegation, Mainz are the side that are going to be heading into the relegation path. It's unconfirmed as yet who they are going to be facing, though. I'm not exactly sure who they're facing in the Bundesliga too. If we head over in a second just to see the scores, you can see first of all, Rashford can grab the top scorer's boot here if he scores a goal in the final. Quite simple, scores in the final. He is the top scorer in the Europa League. PSG and, um, no, it's Atletico and um, Tottenham actually in the Champions League final. And then, 
the FA Pokemon with the North Bundesliga. Lewandowski takes home the top score with 20, but Rashford with 16, a very respectable total. Definitely. If we've got anyone else now, I haven't really looked at these all season. Volum popped in with eight. Definitely a respectable total. Volum popped in with nine assists as well, which is very, very good. And Bailey and Hallett in the assist list as well. So doing great there. And Adeki joint with Neuer for the Golden Glove on 16 clean sheets in the plate every game. Great to see as well. In terms of the team of the year, we only managed to get one man, and that was the big boy, Marcus Rashford. You actually won player of the year in the Bundesliga. Look, team of the year is made up by four Bayern boys, three Stuttgart men, and then Schalke, Dortmund, us, and one other side, Munchen Gladbach, had Hazard in the team, making up the first level. In terms of our teams and how they've all done, you can see Hunedeki, the main man, played every single game of the season. No goals or assists, sadly. But you can see Bullen and Rashford, a lethal joke. Bullen really goes under the radar. I haven't got the flair of the likes of Bailey, the likes of Rashford, the likes of Havertz, the likes of Crow. But 52 games and 20 goals and 60 assists. A very nice record. Six assists. He blows everyone out of the water this year. Considering a strike was brilliant to see. Rashford there, 29 goals this season is a brilliant total. 10 in 14 Europa League games. Particularly impressive. Bender played more than I expected, actually, Bender. Uh, Vice and not so much. Wendell, shame he will miss the final. Such a shame. Bailey, even though shows the competition in the team, despite being arguably second fiddle or lot the substitute attacker, still managed to make 30 Bundesliga appearances and 49 in total. Very impressive there. The captain Johnson Tar. Only 41 games for Havertz and 36 Carrera. Both were hit by injury during the season. Yedvaj, the young centre back slash left back, put in some good performances. 26 games for a date of one of his young seasons. Very good to see in respect to him. Aaron Geese, more of a sub, but a good year. Lehmann, the same. More of a sub, but a good year. As for Paulinho, Ronaldo Vieira maybe should have played more. Only five Bundesliga appearances, but he's leaving us at the end of the year. Regardless, now it is time. Into Milan. We're coming for you. Let's get into the Europa League final. Here we motherfucking go. The Europa League final. We have not been in a European final yet in our whole FIFA 19 career mode series. Any of them are playing it at the Etihad by looks things. The lads walking out. Derek Gray, Lee Dixon. Oh, the commentator. What happened to my voice Brozovic, Handanovic. I see that for Schalke. And there's a screen You can see both sides. We have beaten... Arsenal, I don't know what's happening with both clubs today. We have beat Arsenal, we have beat Napoli, we have beat Villarreal. We have beat them all. We've beaten all the countries as well. Thinking through them. Second Italian giants to take out tonight. Let's take a look at the lineups. Here we are, the inter team. Paris hits screening off. Forsberg, Politano, very aggressive team. Brotherwich 9 got and Luke Shaw. An interesting side. Definitely a tough one though. Paris hits. Watch out for him. Cardi, watch out for him. 9 Gullan, watch out for him. We've got some boys to face here. And now our side, the same team that's been leading all the way, De Rossi the coach. And there you go, that is the lineup that is going to win this Europa League title. One game to go, Yedvaj, course covering still for Wendell. Shane can't be here, but we're obviously going to win, but this is it. 90 minutes to decide our European fate, let's do it. Handanovic may be the toughest keeper we've faced all year. Neuer's not been in the greatest form, and he got into me in this career, but in real life, obviously not in the greatest. Handanovic, a very good keeper, still at his peak at his old age that he is. No disrespect, meant just as it is. Yedvaj coming forward, his first touch is the final ever, I'd expect. The nerves are jangling. Kai Havertz gets us an early goal. The deflection almost stuck that in, you know. It's not the words I like to hear. Rashford being, hey, that's a good pass. Perisic, the well the men I said, watch out for. Blocked. Great defending. Good. Great from Volland. I said he's had a good year in Carrera now. He's got the space. This is it. We have been dominant in Europe this year. He hasn't come off. Once the first goal goes in, then I think things will start to let go and the tension will drop. But for now, Inter actually the team coming forward more than we are. Forsberg on the ball here. They chip it up. Good pass. That pass was deflected poorly for us. Watch out. Perisic didn't quite get the... Inter the better side so far. We're collapsing under the pressure. And Inter take the lead. Forsberg makes it 1-0. The pressure is on. How about this you can see Inter, they surely can't shut up shop already, can they? Uh, Rashford, I see you. Rashford, I see you. Rashford, go for it. Come on, son. Oh, what a stop. What a stop from Handanovic. End of the first half. We'll be cautious. Not long to go. It's only a four minute and a half I play, so we're going to have to be quick if we need to get back into this game. 45 to go. Oh, ref, ref, ref. 
Perisic, that's going to be a yeasty, a yeast, at least for you. And there it is, the yellow card for Perisic. But five minutes gone already in this half. No, this is big, this is big. We have to come out on the attack now. Inter Milan are storming this final so far. My headphones are falling apart. Bloody hell. They've made it two, and they're making us pay. Ultra attacking now. 36 minutes to go. Don't bottle it now. Come on. We need two goals. We're going all out attack here. We've got lucky in the semis with the pen. Something like that would be beautiful right now. We've gone to three at the back. Leon Bailey coming on for Mitchell Vaisa. Rashford. Hold up play is good there. Rashford right up front now. Rashford again. Good stop. Handanovic is too good. He's too good. Rashford cutting and turning. But can he find his... Yes! How good is... Handanovic is too good. Go on. Yes, please. Yes, come on! 2-1. The, the, we have to put pressure on. And we've done that. We have done that right now. Alan Geese, the substitute. Look, a great stop from hand damage against Rashford. Karim just dinked it over the defenders. Look at that. And then he just donks it with his head. It's 2 1. The game's back on. We are not relenting on our attack. No stopping now. Come on. Inter deciding attack is the best form of defence here. And I don't, I'm not sure whether I like that or not. I think that probably makes the game more open. Probably best for us for our. Fast attacking players and Hallett. We can release here. Rashford delayed the pass as late as he could. And here we push forwards. Here we push forward. Carrera. Carrera, come on. What a shocking shot. Two minutes remaining. What do you mean, two minutes? Ref. Someone's tampering with the watch, I swear. And here we go. This is it. This could be it. Write some poetry for me, Leon Bailey. Aaron Geese, hold on to it. This is it now. No! No! What a final! And Inter take the win! Oh! We will be back for our revenge for the second season, but it's ended in tears tonight. What a disappointing end, I've got to admit. I thought we were going to take glory here in this season one. No luck for us, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We still haven't won a European competition in FIFA 19. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!